The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, I know it's a cliche we say a lot, the calm before the storm, but that's really the case for us today as well as tomorrow before the remnants of Hurricane Ian move into our area starting on Friday. Definitely get outside and enjoy the blue sky while we have it. This is our Virginia Tech Curly and Sky Camp in downtown Roanoke. The local radar, very quiet, uh, really tough to get any rain if you don't have a lot of cloud cover in the mix. Of course, all of the energy is really uh, fixed down to the south across Florida and, of course, making landfall a couple of hours ago, and it's going to continue to move to the north and the northeast over the next few hours. Looks like a high risk of flooding down that way, along with the strong winds and uh, the storm surge that they are still contending with. Uh, the chance for rain in our area is going to be non-existent on Thursday, but the showers are going to increase from the south through Friday. Put the chance for rain in Roanoke about 40% for the final day of the work week. And then unfortunately, it looks like a weekend washout. 90% chances both Saturday and Sunday. Some showers lingering into the first part of the work week next week. Eventually, I do think we try and drier towards the middle part of next week. We'll show you that on the seven day forecast in just a second. We definitely had the October feel today with many of you seeing temperatures in the 50s and 60s. That's where we're staying as we head into the first part of our evening. 67 Roanoke as well as Martinsville. The warm spot on the map right now is Lynchburg matching Smith Mountain Lake at 69 degrees. We are going to start to see the temperatures fall as we head into our evening. It's not a bad night to maybe have a fire outside on the patio. It looks like we go from 62 at 7 o'clock to uh, the mid 50s by 11. I think we'll end up with partly cloudy skies overhead for the evening and then mostly clear skies overnight tonight. Our lows once again uh, down into the 40s, 42 the New River Valley, 44 in the Highlands and the upper 40s by the time you're starting off your Thursday in Roanoke and Lynchburg and Southside. The temperatures warming up to similar levels tomorrow afternoon to what we had today, about 68 for the high in Roanoke and I do believe we'll have a few extra clouds around. We'll call it a mix of sun and clouds for your Thursday. So kind of the same kind of weather tomorrow that what we had today and really we've had for a couple of days. I uh, mentioned that Ian made landfall today in Florida. It's continuing to lash the Sunshine State right now, and then eventually we get the remnant raid here in southwest and central Virginia starting on Friday afternoon and evening. So zooming things out, give you a look at what we're tracking. On Thursday locally, we're going to see the clouds increasing a little bit, but we do stay dry. Uh, the system's still uh, too far to the south for us to get much impact, but you see it really moves to the north as we go into Friday. We're going to be cloudy and dry to start the day, but the chance for rain increasing as we go into the afternoon and evening, and the Heavy rain certainly going to be with us as we head into our Saturday. Can't completely rule out the possibility for some thunderstorms for the afternoon and evening on Saturday. And then this system really just going to be kind of lingering with us as we go through Sunday as well as Monday. Those showers uh, still going to be with us at least into the early part of the work week. Our look at rainfall totals as we head into the weekend. The green areas two to four inches in the yellow, potentially three to six inches of rain, and this could cause localized flooding. So make sure you are staying up to date with the forecast as we go into the weekend. As far as the next 24 hours are concerned, the temperatures drop overnight tonight, 47 the low and then 68 the high tomorrow with a few more clouds uh, in your town might be a little bit wet uh, with the rain moving in from the remnants of Ian. And like I mentioned, unfortunately, a wet weekend expected across our corner of the Commonwealth. So